September 11, 2001, I lived uh, in New York City and I was uh, there for the, uh, the terrorist attacks against the World Trade Center. Um, my drive was past the Pentagon. I actually drove that route right in front of where the plane hit, probably 45 minutes before the plane hit, I think. Um, I got to work that day. I was pulling into my parking garage when the second plane hit the World Trade Center. Um, I went upstairs, we had a briefing from our colonel, and he actually discussed the fact that the Pentagon could be a target, just like the World Trade Center was. Um, and then within 30 minutes after I got to work, that's when the plane hit the Pentagon. I was at home getting ready to go to work and uh, saw the second plane hit the tower. And at that time, I was a commercial airline pilot flying for United Airlines. So I was actually on the way home from work uh, when I heard on the radio, they broke in on the radio, the Armed Forces Network radio and uh, informed us. I was on active duty in uh, September 11th. Uh, I was stationed at Ramstein Air Force Base in Germany working uh, at a NATO headquarters, NATO, North Atlantic Treaty Organization, that partnership the United States has with our allies throughout Europe. Um, what I really remember about that day is, number one, the, the panic, the terror. Uh, those of you that were in the States at the time know the attacks happened early in the morning. Well, with the time difference, it was late afternoon. I retired from the military before 9-11 and I had started working at Falcon Middle School as the in-school suspension supervisor. So when that happened, I was also the advisor for the student council. The student council rallied. Just really rallied around the situation that happened and um, just an awareness that something that huge could happen on American soil. That event is why I'm here at Falcon High School today. It certainly did impact me because soon after, um, soon after that I decided to switch careers and I decided to teach. Um, probably six or seven years later is when I decided to become a teacher. Um, I think mainly just to help people, just to impact the lives of students and help them out. Um, I didn't feel like my old career, I was having the impact that I wanted. So I became a teacher. I love it. I've been doing this for, it's my eighth year, so um, I've enjoyed it. Theater um, is this, you know, it was the study of the human condition uh, and empathy and how uh, different people relate to different people. And I think that directly relates to um, things that happen in our country and in the world. Um, that we don't necessarily have control over, but we need to understand. Right now, we're discussing the Middle East, so it's very relevant for me uh, to talk about these students. When we talk about terrorism around the world, to talk about the events of 9-11, uh, even though most of them, uh, if they were born, were only one, two, or three, but they've heard stories. Uh, so in talking about that, um, as we discuss that specific subject next week, it will definitely be impactful and very emotional for me. I've been here uh, almost 11 years, and it's, it was a, so. In, in one thing, 9/11 was a really bad thing for the country, for the company that I worked for at the time. But it was sort of a solidifying event for my family to look at what was important to us, what we needed to do, and uh, so in that sense, it brought me here to Falcon High School, and it's been a great experience for me being here because I really enjoy being around the kids. I think being uh, military and. Having served overseas, um, I was in Germany when Ramstein was bombed, and so there's an a increased awareness of a world situation and, and things beyond my own household. And I think I was able to instill that concept um, with the students that I was working with at the time. Looking back the last 15 years, I think the most impactful lesson for us as American citizens uh, is to truly uh, 
take hold of those values that we all hold so near and dear. Each and every class period in JROTC, we face the flag, uh, put our hands on our heart if we're not in uniform, stand at the position of attention if we're in uniform, and recite the pledge. And what I implore each of those kids uh, every day is to embrace those words, those freedoms that we have as Americans. And I just think that we need to learn and remember what happened that day and the feeling of patriotism that came on the folks who watched that happen and not forget. We should never forget that something like that has happened in our country and what it means to be an American.